how about the chili powder? Is it safe to eat, Doc? Well, it depends. So traditional chili powder is made from peeled and de-seeded chili peppers. And for instance, I buy my chili powder from New Mexico, uh, from peeled and de-seeded hatch chilies. In general, cayenne pepper is made the same way. In general, Hungarian, true Hungarian paprika is made the same way. But chili powder, as we know in the United States, is a mixture of various ingredients that may not be safe at all. So when in doubt, use a peeled and de-seeded chili. And when in double doubt, whatever you're gonna make chili with, do it in a pressure cooker, which should really help destroy the lectins. Are tinned Italian tomatoes lectin-free, also tomato puree? Thanks in advance. Well, by law, to make tomato sauce and tomato paste in Italy, the tomatoes have to be peeled and de-seeded. But be careful, most of the brand names that have an Italian name do not come from Italy. And I've seen so many patients make this mistake. So if you can actually find a tomato paste from Italy, and it says so, or some of the squeeze tubes, then you're pretty safe. Having said that, many of you now know that there is a class of lectins that I did not include in the plant paradox called aquaporins. And aquaporins are present in tomatoes. So I have a few of my autoimmune patients who react to peeled and de-seeded tomatoes because they react to the aquaporin in tomatoes, which is actually in the pulp. So if you're still suspicious that even though you've done everything to peel and de-seed the tomatoes and you're still having an issue, it's more than likely the aquaporin in tomatoes that's the trouble. One more thing we've learned, there's no evidence that pressure cooking will destroy aquaporins in tomatoes. By the way, they're also present in the flesh of bell peppers. They're also present in the flesh of potatoes. They're in soybeans. And in some people, spinach has an aquaporin that they really react to. It's also present in corn. Those are all great questions. That's it for today. If you've got anything you're dying to know the answer to, just leave a comment down below. That way I can answer it in an upcoming episode. Because I'm Dr. Gundry and I'm always looking out for you.